Daily bread. Fighting hunger. 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 Fighting hunger in our community. My name is Gail Nyberg and I'm the Executive Director of Daily Bread Food Bank. Hunger in Canada is not about a lack of food. There's lots of food. What it is is a lack of income. And so we have a number of people who, in a number of cases, no choice of their own, don't have enough money to make sure that uh, they can buy food. The Daily Bread is a, a distribution center for food. Daily Bread does have a little food bank on, on site, but what it really does is collect food and money from food industry and from the public and redistribute it out through a series of over 170 member agencies. If, if you want to know who uses a Daily Bread member agency, what you need to be is on a TTC bus or a streetcar, and I think you need to look to your left, look to your right, look across from you. and Someone there is someone who has used uh, a food bank. It's, it's a very diverse group of issues for a very diverse group of people. Um, I'd say near the top of the list, uh, issues regarding housing are always big. Um, language issues with our newcomer groups, ESL, employment as well, are all large, large issues for, for this group of people. Because of our name Daily Bread Food Bank, people naturally assume that we're just a food bank, but we're more of an organization that is a, a center of information. It provides for the community not just food, but the education, the awareness, the training. We often say that that should be our tagline, uh, Daily Bread dot dot dot, not just a food bank. Because we do so many other things, I mean, that the community is unaware of. I'm Alain Lebec. Um, I'm the food services coordinator here at uh, Parkdale Activity Recreation Centre. Like without daily bread, like the gears would stop turning here. Uh, and we have we have about uh, an average of 100 to 150 uh, members who eat here regularly, like seven days a week. Yeah. I would not be able to do any <laughs> of what I do without volunteers. Um, in the food bank, they're, they're absolutely um, a necessary, a necessity in running the food bank and helping me to run the food bank. You don't realize it until you come down here. You hear about it on the television, you hear about it on radio, but until you come down here and you see it's needed, you know? It, and it's really community effort and it's nice that everybody can come in at whatever age and help. If we want to address the, the true root causes of poverty, unemployment, lack of training opportunities are two major reasons. So A, we're training people, we're providing them with skills that they'll be able to utilize out in the community and through the work placements we're in fact able to assist them in finding employment. So we're really addressing at our end you know, two of those major factors. We currently have a kitchen training program where we have 11 individuals who come in and who have some form of barriers to employment. When we say barriers, uh, barriers includes a vast population of people. Many of the people that we meet are uh, brand new Trontonians from all over, right? They need Canadian work experience, they're interested in, in kitchen work, and this is a great base for them. It's a really special training program because we're teaching them the basic prep schools to be job ready. We give them an employment counselor that guides them, and then while they're in their kitchen, they're actually feeding uh, 150 people about a day in our cafeteria and then 4,000 people with the soups and casseroles that go out and now we have the catering arm. But what I really would like to see is us providing the kind of respectful service where people can come um, and feel that they have their integrity intact. Don't feel afraid, don't feel embarrassed. Don't let pride stand in your way. Come in and get help. 
Okay, it's here. That's the kind of work that I see that we do at Daily Bread. We're providing food and resources to people struggling with hunger, and there's your Band-Aid. But in the meantime, you're not bleeding to death. And then, because Daily Bread's mission is twofold, and it's not just, uh, just the Band-Aid, it's about advocating for good public policy changes and creating social change, we're you know, investigating the stitches and making sure that we're looking for long-term solutions. Daily bread fighting hunger.